Good morning fellow Empyrean Builders and welcome to another one of Solo Showcases. Now in today's video I want to show you how to convert 3D geometry from an STL file, a standard 3D file that is used for uh, 3D printing for example, into a shell of a blueprint used for Empyrean. And what I have here in front of me is a creative scenario where I have converted the uh, Nubian J327 ship from Star Wars Episode 1 that I got from an STL file into an Empyrean blueprint shell. As you can see, it is very far from perfect. There's still a lot of rough edges to be, well, to be smoothed out. And it is merely a shell. Now, if I go into the ship, you'll see there's nothing in here. It is just empty shell. However, this is a very practical tool if you want to rebuild some of your favorite chips that you know from, I don't know, EVE Online, movies, and whatnot into Empyrean Blueprints. Now let's jump into it. Now I'm going to hop onto my Firefox window and I'm going to show you this GitHub page by Rebart and he is the creator of this little Python script that converts .stl geometry into Blueprint shells in Empyrean. Now I'm going to link this site on below in the video description and here is the newest release. It's an older tool as you can see, it has been the last publication was on May 2017. However, it is still very much operational. And there are several steps you have to do to get this running. Now, firstly, you download the zip. And secondly, you go onto his wiki of the page and he guides you in a very neat description on how to do this. And you will see that in the zip, which I have downloaded here, you will have these files in here, you have the exe and you have the Python scripts in case you want to meddle with them since Python is open source. But in the blueprint paste, you will have to replace this blueprint with a blueprint of your own because as Rebart states here, starting with Alpha 5, Empyrean embeds the Steam account information into the blueprint file. And so for this software to work, it'll require you to build one of your own blueprints by following his his description here, which is basically you have to save a single block ship as a blueprint and leave the game and then copy paste it and overwrite the blueprint you have in the Rebart folder in the zip file. Now, after you've done this and I have my software over here, you open the exe, then this little window will pop up and then it asks you for two things. It'll first ask you for the STL which is this 3D file you downloaded. You can download 3D files from all over the internet. One of the most popular files, oh, sir, websites is called Thingiverse, where many 3D printer enthusiasts download their models. But yeah, as I mentioned, you can find it almost anywhere. And so after you've downloaded your STL, which for me is in uh, located in pictures, here is the new bn.stl. It'll ask you to also give you the location of the output blueprint file. I'm just going to copy this address and then you can double click it, open and then paste the address here for me. And I like to use a little blueprint that I call del me, as in delete me, which is in my blueprints folder for Empyrean. I'll double click this to tell him that he wants that. And then you can use the longest dimension, which in the um, creative file I just showed you before is 200. So it's a pretty big ship. And the higher the dimension, obviously the more details you get, right? So I use 200 here. We can use 100, well, no, let's leave it at 200. The longer, the, the bigger the dimension, the longer it'll take the file to convert the STL into a blueprint. And now, you have several other parameters, which is the blueprint class. For me, I want an SV, that's fine. I don't want any reflections. The dimension remapping, uh, you'll have to enter manually. And since most STL files are laid out horizontally for um, 3D printing, you would think that not mapping anything works fine. However, the EBP, the Imperium blueprint files seem to have one of the axes inverted with respect to um, the standard STL coordinates. And so th two, three, one remapping seems to work fine for me. Morphological smoothing, I like to set it fairly low to one. And hollowing radius, I like to set it fairly high to five. We can make it even bigger, eight. And once you have entered all of these parameters, you can run the software. It'll start computing. 
it'll tell you the amount of tri triangles, and it'll also give you an ETA on how long it'll take to convert. As you can see, it takes a mere about 15 seconds to do this in, in a size of 200. Usually it takes more, but it seems like it's a low resolution STL. Be warned, some STLs I have found to not work. I know not what exactly the reason is. I am assuming this um, Rebarts tool is only capable of handling so many polygons, so only a certain mesh resolution will be, uh, you will only be able to feed a certain mesh resolution into the software. But anyways, it has now overwritten the Dell me with the geometry here. And in order to refresh my blueprints, I'm just gonna hop out of the creative and hop right back in. Now, an interesting feat would be to reverse engineer the script to actually export existing blueprints into STL geometry. That is something I would like to see someone. So if anyone out there sees this, was capable of doing this, well, let's do it. Anyway, let me now spawn in the freshly overwritten Delmi. You get a little error in Imperium, but this is what you get out of it. It's a black shell of steel blocks in the form of an SV. Now let me repaint that. Increase it to a white so we can see the geometry better. And voila! We have a nicely shaped Nubian ship here with perfect proportions as they are in the model. Of course, as I mentioned, there's still a lot of work. You'll have to smooth out these rough edges. You'll have to build the entire interior of your ship. But you get an already prefabricated shape. Now, well, this is it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if anything was unclear in the comment section and see you next time. Bye bye.